again everyone welcome back so got something kind of cool today uh, yes it's another USMRE however this is actually a newer one and probably one of the freshest ones that I'm ever gonna have more than likely um, menu number 12 elbow macaroni and tomato sauce packaged by the Warnick company now I know for a fact this came from 2016 uh, because this is one of the new 2016 meals. There were two, I believe. This and the other one was, I think it was menu 14, and it was like creamy spinach, Alfredo, fettuccine, something. Anyway, I haven't been able to find that one, but I was able to find this one. Um, super interesting, right? Elbow macaroni and tomato sauce. Wow. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, maybe not the most interesting of menus, but uh, of interest to me. Uh, it's been a while since I've, well, really, it's been a while since I've had a new, new, new one. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get it opened up here, and, and let's see what we have inside. So that uh, peelable seal opened up real nice, and this should be our, yep, that's our Elba macaroni. And package looks slightly discolored. Huh, interesting. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem, but anyway, just kind of had an off kind of color through it. So, all right, what do we got here? Wheat snack bread. Oh, this is the trans fat free wheat snack bread. I don't think I've had trans fat free wheat snack bread yet, so that should be interesting. I mean, wheat snack bread is pretty much wheat snack bread. Our accessory pack will uh, tear into just here in a few. Oh, Skittles. Yep. So these are actually still in date. This is the first time I've actually had MRE candy that has been in date. These won't expire until November of this year, so that's that's really cool. I guess I wasn't really checking date codes, was I? So yeah, 174th day of 2016, so rock on. We have some uh, regular cheese spread. The fresh cheese spread. Oh, the freshest of all the cheese spreads. <laughs> Got our MRE spoon. Feels like they changed the composition of the plastic in those. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Chocolate protein. Protein, bro. Drink powder. Gains. <laughs> okay. I'm actually not 100% if I've ever had one of these before. Uh, I think I have. So that should be interesting for our drink. And realistically, because the the main is is just oba macaroni and tomato sauce, they had to interject some protein in here somehow. There's our nice new flameless ration heater. Hopefully, well, that should be good. Got a hot, hot beverage bag, sleeve, and eh, not raisin mix. Okay, always fine. Um, again, I think again trying to. Throw the protein in there. 11 grams of protein as opposed to, what does this drink have? 12 grams of protein. Ah, oh, geez, for a protein drink, that's not a bunch. Jeez, guys, need more gains. The protein powder I use has like 24 grams of protein. Jeez. <laughs> oh, for the lifting bros. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this opened up here and we'll get our. Get our main started and heating up. Shouldn't have to worry about this particular ration heater, seeing as it's basically only a year old. <clears throat> Although, you know, nothing surprises me. Oh, crap. Now I'm just crushing it. Jeez. It's so smooth. There. I don't know why I don't do this, but hey. Oh look, G. Schultz. Yeah, G. Schultz is on the packaging. Okay, so after I've gotten done fiddling around with that, let's go ahead and add a little bit of water in between the fill lines as best as I can. Yeah, something like that. And then we're just going to lay it flat for a little bit. Hopefully get the water 
in those heating elements as best as we can. I just like to lay it flat for just a few to let everything, uh, you know, get going. Sometimes it takes it a minute. This one seems to, uh, <laughs> come on, you're new. You can't give me trouble. Well, you know, it's, it's funny because I've had old ones do perfectly fine and then sometimes new ones just, oh well. Anyway, I do feel a little bit of heat coming off. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get it buttoned up. I hear it. I hear it starting. So You know, there are some channels that I've, I've watched, and they, they like to just put the salt in there, get it activated, no matter what age. There it goes. It's, it's going. Oh, um, by the way, here's some nutrition facts. So, 200 calories in this meat. Wow, that's not a lot. Five grams of protein. So, it does have some protein, mostly carbs, of course, and, you know, your irrationally large amount of sodium. This time, 24% of your daily value. So, anyway, let's go ahead and put that up against a rock or something. And, uh, and we'll get the rest of our contents out on our tray. Okay, and actually... Let's just go ahead and open the accessory pack real quick here. I do see something that I'm already going to like. I know that. Yep, little packet of Tabasco. Always nice to see these in here. Um, sometimes the, these meals just need a little bit of a kick, kick in the pants. We do have our toilet paper. Semi-useless, I hate to say, but... Cinnamon gum, packet, oh, sugar. Got our old standard type 3 instant coffee. I'm going to forego making coffee. I've had enough MRE coffee. Uh, there's our creamer to last my lifetime. I generally like to take those uh, on camping trips. I'll put them in a little bag and, and just kind of make them in the morning. So I'm going to save it. Moist towelette, packet of salt. And matches, which are interesting. Matches are such a variable thing. Sometimes there's matches, sometimes there's not matches. I mean, I have a whole big thing of MRE matches, but they don't always, uh, they're not always in, in every single accessory pack. So I find that interesting. Let's go ahead and start opening up what we got. We'll have our trans fat free wheat snack bread. Looks like wheat snack bread. It smells like wheat snack bread must be wheat snack bread. You know, one other thing I, I am noticing here is there's not another drink powder. Um, so it looks like we have coffee and we've got the protein drink. Uh, that's it. I do, I do kind of like to have a powder sometimes. I just think it's nice to have. But hey, it's all good. I did have a suggestion at one point. I'm not going to do it with the protein drink because I actually want to just try that uh, regular, but uh, Ranger Mocha. I had somebody suggest that one time, uh, which we'll do that. I think I actually have some extra components. So again, let's get our cheese spread working, and we'll get that on our. You know, the wheat snack bread. Now that I'm looking at it a little bit, it does seem a little bit drier. Which, my God, how could you get any drier? Cheese spread is nice, bright, orangey color. So that should be awesome. Dump our Skittles, which are well within date, so those look good. It's always kind of nice to have some of the some of the candy. It's it's a nice creature comfort. Two on the first day. Gotcha. And that raisin mix is just looking for that tear notch. Yeah, this is always, this This hasn't changed, probably will never change, although I am, uh, no, eh, I thought there was a few more almonds in there, I'm a, I'm a fan of almonds, and uh, now it looks like there's the obligatory three or four, so, <laughs> I should expect it, okay, so let's make up our drink, um, first and foremost, this is, you know, these are kind of the nicer bags, with the, uh, Zip lock on them, which is great. 
So you can store them in here, drink them out of here if you want. This also does have the fill line. Uh, quite a bit of powder, but there again, if you're making a, a protein drink, that's usually what you're going to have. So we do have fill line, which I think is actually a little higher than, eh, maybe, I don't know, I'd have to go back and look at another one. So we're just going to add our water up to that fill line. And we'll, uh, we'll kind of gauge how it is and once we get it in the cup. I'm not 100% sure. I, <clears throat> I usually water stuff down quite a bit. Because that's just how I am. <clears throat> but we're just going to shake the old devil out of this. Hopefully it gets nice and mixed up. Protein powders sometimes. You know, we'll have some trouble mixing. So anyway, there we go. We got it. Got it all mixed. Hopefully that's good. Oh yeah. It's chocolatey looking. Whew. Has a heck of a chocolate smell too. Yeah, that's pretty thick. Look at that. That's pretty dark too. That is a dark definitely a dark chocolate look pretty thick I probably could water that down a little bit more but it's cool so I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of what's on the tray our entree heater uh, you know it it got going but it's it's kinda stopped I think yeah so we'll give it a few more just in the hopes that maybe it decides to pop back off. Let's go ahead and try a little bit. I'm going to start with our mix, get a little bit of everything. Some peanuts, raisin. There's usually cashews in here. Now well, there's a piece of a cashew. Yeah, well. Something to this extent. I don't know. <laughs> maybe Mostly peanuts, which I, I don't mind. I like peanuts. Let's try it. Yeah, tastes fresh, nice and crunchy. No problem there. So, yep, that's usually always pretty good though. Try a couple Skittles. There we go. Mm hmm. Those taste fine. Tastes like Skittles. <clears throat> Put way too many in my mouth there. Rough chewing. But yeah, very nice, fresh taste. Um, obviously not expired. I'm interested. Now it's kind of turning into pudding. I don't know. Does the U.S. Army want everybody to have pudding? What is their obsession with pudding? Give bigger packages. Let's try it out as pudding. Wow. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> Listen, protein powder is not something you screw around with. I don't like to, I'm not going to sit here and drink it chunky, okay? That was kind of gross, to be honest with you. You can see where, well, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a lot of chunks in here that haven't been properly dissolved. And I'm going to try it again real quick here. Just I could probably... Go 20 ounces of water and be quite happy. It's just too damn thick. And, I, and I've had this issue so many times with these beverage, you know, with, the, with some of the... Some, well, actually, I'll tell you, it seems to be more recent. Because when I first kind of started messing around with MREs, <clears throat> I wasn't having as much trouble. 
but there again, I guess I was getting a lot of the cappuccinos and whatnot, and they were fine. But once you get into the, like these uh, chocolate, the dairy shakes and stuff, man, that's better. So that's almost a full 20 ounce cup. Yeah, there was just not enough liquid in there. <clears throat> Needed more liquid. Goodness, I don't need protein pudding. Let's try a little bit of our wheat snack bread. Yeah, that tastes fine. I don't... Can't really tell any difference in trans fat free opposed to regular. Let's try a little cheese spread with it. Mm. Yep. Cheese spread is nice and fresh. No problem there, guys. Everything on here... Tastes nice and fresh. No issues with uh, with any of that. So let's go ahead and, uh, and next we'll check out our main dish. All right, so we do got our main dish here. <clears throat> the heater, um, I think the heater is performing okay. You know, it's it's definitely hot. It's too hot to handle still. I was just maybe expecting more out of it, more of an energetic reaction, but hey, that's okay. It's working. We'll have a, you know, semi-warm, ouch, meal. It's just like it's slapping me. It's like, oh, you said I wasn't working, huh? Well, here, burn ya. Burn ya. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping it's, it's okay. I'm just, it's real hot down at the bottom. I'm just kind of trying to distribute a little bit of that heat. Just have the long ways tear notch. There we go. Okay. Yep. It's noodles in tomato sauce. <laughs> oh man. Go ahead more. Get all that goodness out of the pack. Okay, so, pretty much self-explanatory, noodles and tomato sauce. We see some tomatoes, a couple of herbs, mainly noodles. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out. It's very simple. It's very simple. Does not have a bad taste to it. Might be able to, you know, would be nice to have some pepper. Let's try it again. Yeah, I mean this is a, this is like kids simple. You know, just throw a little tomato sauce on some noodles. This is what you get. It's fine. I wouldn't call it the greatest thing known to man, but it's pretty good. I'm going to dunk a little bit of our bread, because there is a considerable amount of sauce here, which is nice. A little bread dunking. Yep, it works. I'm still going to add Tabasco onto it, though. <laughs> ah, I'm just a rebel like that, I guess. Yeah. If I can get it in the package, that is. There we go. Oh, mistake. Open that with your teeth, it blew right in my mouth. Jeez. All right. See what we have now. Any better, any worse? Take a vote on it before I eat. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I think that's kind of what it needed. Just a little extra dimension, because I don't, I, I don't want to say it was bland, but it was just average. That's a ticket. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> so yeah, guys, very simple menu here. A lot of components we're pretty familiar with. Menu number 12, elbow macaroni and tomato sauce from 2016. Can you believe that? 2016. 
one of the freshest MREs I've I've ever had. Probably the freshest MRE I've ever had. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for it, but <laughs> uh, you know, these are out there, but they're they're not as readily available. Generally we get MREs like bare minimum two years old. And that's what I consider fresh in a lot of cases. But problem is, is that they're usually still in use. So unless you have a buddy, or unless you know, unless you're active duty and can go in the you know the commissary, or you have a, a, a buddy uh, who can go in the commissary for you as a civilian, or some random guy on eBay or whatever, a lot of the year old ones are, are probably going to be a little bit out of reach. But you know. This one wasn't wasn't too bad, a little, eh, you know, j just a little bit uh, anticlimactic. Let's put it that way. So anyway, folks, I appreciate you stopping by for another another MRE review with me, eating lunch. Um, appreciate all the subscribers. You all have been great to this point. Uh, keep looking to build the channel as much as I can, and I encourage you all to take a look at my secondary channel. That's Broke Outdoors. The link will be in the description. That's my outdoor channel that. Um, my brother and I, uh, you know, kind of co-author. So if you want to take a look at some gear as well as freeze-dried rations, take a look at Broke Outdoors. And, uh, you know, just encourage everybody, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of, of me. Uh, hear my voice. Eat lunch with me, maybe. And, uh, you know, uh, as always, you know, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. I appreciate it. And uh, leave your comments. I like hearing from you. I have a... A regular cast of characters that always comes by and I do appreciate hearing from everybody it's it's kind of nice it's internet friendship right so anyway folks I appreciate y'all stopping by have a great one